When I first heard about ALA, the biggest draw for me was ALA had an emphasis on practice and this idea that you all need 10,000 hours of practice in whatever it is you want to do in life. So when I came to ALA, I got exposed to a few things that fostered my passion for finance. One was Gigavolt. We called it the student bank. It was a very, very eye-opening experience to learn about financial flows and how a bank runs. I learned about economics at ALA. I had never done any course on business or economics prior to coming to ALA. Dr. Kangami who was a fantastic teacher and mentor. He made the classes very lively and I actually emerged as the top student in economics in South Africa in 2011. After graduating from ALA, I enrolled at Wharton Business School in the University of Pennsylvania. I was there on a full scholarship and it was a dual degree program in international studies and business. In my young career in finance, ALA has been there in terms of opening up a professional network. The first experience was an internship at Standard Chartered Private Equity in Johannesburg and really opened my eyes to think about private equity as a career for myself. In my fourth year of college, I had worked for JP Morgan in investment banking in New York and had a full-time offer to join them. I thought it was the ultimate opportunity for me. But through ALA, I ended up connecting with a really senior partner at a company called Blackstone and ended up choosing to work for Blackstone because I was going to be an investor straight out of college. I had a fascinating three-year experience at Blackstone in their private equity team, which at the time was managing $100 billion, and I was very fortunate to be on a few transactions that I closed. Currently, I work as an investment specialist at Investec Asset Management, which is rebranding to 91 and I work in the Africa private equity team where we manage $450 million across Africa. In the future, I see myself playing an increasingly bigger role in helping to attract foreign investment into Africa. Africa really needs the capital from local and foreign investors to really develop some of the fundamental things like infrastructure, renewable energy, consumer businesses, private education, and different other industries that are needed for the continent to actually prosper. And I also hope to play a role in working with entrepreneurs to think about the sustainability of their business, but also helping their businesses run on a global standard. When I moved back to South Africa, I was lucky to be selected to join the ALA Board of Trustees it's very exciting for me to be able to marry my experiences at Wharton, at Blackstone, and now in private equity in Africa to help the investment committee think about the sustainability of ALA. One of the things I learned the best at ALA is how to be a pioneer. Whatever you're passionate about, you can make it global and don't be afraid of having big ideas that scare you.